mission and one mission only. Self-care, supplies, essentials. As of recently, I ran out of all of my necessities, like sunscreen. If you guys know me, you know I like my sunscreen, and I don't got any more because I used it all up. No bueno. Uh, let's go to Target. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Woohoo! I don't know if it's just me, but the freaking cart that I got sucks booty, bro. Anyways, I really wanted to get a trusty me heat protectant. I burn my hair almost every single day. It'd be a good idea to invest in a product that's gonna help my hair not get super damaged. I don't know. My friend said trusty me sucks. So it's like ah. I've heard so much good things from this argan oil of Morocco and I really want to get it but I'm not sure if it's worth it and I also have another oil that I use on a regular basis. It's this one over here and I still haven't ran out of it so I don't want to like buy a product that I don't necessarily need if that makes sense. Maybe try this out. No, no, no. This is the shampoo and conditioner my mom uses so this is the one I've been using for the past month. This is my ultimate favorite sunscreen so we have to get it. I use this every single day. It doesn't leave a white house. It leaves my skin feeling hella glowy. This is the part where it's going to be a little bit chaotic because there's so much shampoos and conditioners that I want to try and so many that look so big and aesthetic and like I cannot choose like how am I supposed to choose which one I want to try but the one from Native before this is the one that I got all the time it's the Native gonna end the Nilla one. I also really like their body washes, but I think I wanna switch it up. Also, I can't find it, but I used to buy part four with the Love and Beauty Planet Champagne Conditioner, but as of lately, they've been leaving my sculpt very oily, and it's just not a vibe. So we're gonna try to find a product that hopefully can help a girl out because my hair is so dry, it's so nasty. Um, let's figure this out. Is this too exposed? I don't freaking know. This is the one that I've seen everywhere on TikTok. I also saw Zarella use these and he says that they're really nice they're supposedly really good for your hair the only problem is i don't know if it's gonna work for my hair i don't know i'm very scared to try new products but the products that i'm currently using aren't even working for me so i kind of have to try new things i've also heard some stuff about monday one of my friends uses monday but she doesn't really like it so i don't know what to do guys oh, there's just so many options it's insane it's like blah. guys if i am you and i want to invest in anything related to my hair i would definitely invest in one of these. I got one of these for Christmas for my sister. Love you, sister. You're amazing. It's really been awesome for my hair. My dry time has literally cut in half from using these. I also like got one of these and I also really love it. Definitely highly recommend it. So yeah, these are really cool. It's kind of a vibe, kind of a static. Oh shoot, I think this is a leave-in conditioner. Don't know if I want to buy it because I don't necessarily know if it's necessary, but maybe try it out if you want to. The packaging's kind of cute. It's a vibe, it's aesthetic. And I'm filming some content. <laughs> My sister has these wet brushes. She uses them for her hair and she really likes it. I think it may be time to retire my hairbrush. I'm low-key kind of debating getting one of these. These are the go green ones, so they're probably better for the environment than like the traditional plastic ones. So I think I might get one of these as well. This one has tea tree oil and this one's coconut infused. I really like the colors. I have to pass on those. I might just get like a bamboo one. These are really good apparently for your hair. I think I'm gonna cave in and get the hibiscus one for all hair types. So it should be good for my hair. This is the conditioner so i need to find the shampoo Stupid. i don't know if they even have it let's see um i'm gonna smell it real quick and see if i even like the smell that angle but we're gonna smell this kind of like it they're kind of cute too kind of a vibe i feel like the lighting is kind of bad so i'm gonna lower it up there you go that's a little better this is the dry shampoo that I've used before. I'm not necessarily a great big fan of it. So yeah, that's all. Like these better. I had no idea that Sunbum had conditioner and shampoo. That's kind of low-key sick. I also have a tea tingler. That's so cool. Won't try it today because that is expensive. Moving on. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I bought last time. I did kind of a self-care target trip. Didn't end up liking them, but maybe for other hair types, they might be better. Left my skull oily. I did like this mask though. It's really nice, really nice don't necessarily recommend these. I also used to use these makeup wipes, but now I don't use makeup wipes because I low-key think it's a waste of like waste. I've been using the simple micellar water. Would I highly recommend trying out first? It is a little bit on the more expensive end of extra products, but I would recommend it. I have such a mixed review when it comes to face masks because one, they're so much fun to put on, and two, I know that they're not necessarily the best for your skin. Like, they don't really do anything, but I think these are really freaking stinking cute. Look how freaking adorable. 
little like I saw a panda one or something the other day. It was like the animal. Let me just show you guys. Look how cute these animal ones are. A bulldog. Like, isn't that so freaking sick? I saw like, a panda one the other day too. But like, I want this, but it's like not gonna do anything aside from the fact that it's cute. Is it really worth my money? I don't know. <laughs> they also have feet mask which i've tried before and i genuinely really like it it left my feet feeling a very soft day to each their own yo there's so many masks it's insane <laughs> if anyone has ever tried a lever chip say brand let me know because i look i kind of want to try it just look how cute it looks but yeah just let me know because it's a little bit expensive like literally 50 freaking lotterinos that's a lot of money this is like the high-end brand stuff <laughs> um let's not know <laughs> guys i am so freaking stinking torn because parts of me want to get the doctor t Shea sugar scrub. Other parts of me wants to get. I don't know where they're at, but I really want to get those ones too. So I'm like kind of baiting, bro. Like, hmm. but I'm pretty sure the other one packaging is cuter a little bit. I don't know. If y'all ever want to try these, please do because it did wonders for my skin. Kid you guys not. I was breaking out for a second and they legit came through for me. Definitely would recommend these. I've currently been using like really cute ones, so I don't need it right now, but they're really good. Also, these are all the first products that they have. They're so freaking cute. I really want to try shoot i don't think they have it it's like a lotion but it's fine uh, so these are really cool dissolving cleansing balm type things i've heard really good reviews on them i don't know if it's worth 18 dollars but i guess i would have to try it and i don't really feel like spending 18 dollars on a cleansing balm since i already used the simple micellar water so not today i really want to try the bliss brand but i don't know if it's like worth the dime look how freaking expensive that is i think i'm over the trying to use very expensive skincare products when in all reality you can use the regular schmegler 6.99 lotion you don't have to spend 30 dollars on a lotion so anyways i was watching Anna Marie the other day or not the other day literally like an hour ago and i saw that she used this thing very sucky photo but it's the benadryl peroxide and she said it really helped her with like her fungal acne i don't know if i have that but i do know i struggle with like, acne on my forehead area and it's only four dollars so if this helps very affordable option for an acne treatment yeah oh this was the sugar scrub i was talking about it's exotic bloom mm. kind of banging also the songs are live <laughs> oh this is my holy grail skincare product i love the foaming facial cleanser by cerave it's for normal to oily skin and it is amazing i love it i think it's so fun to apply so highly recommend cerave products cetaphil products are also really sticking amazing so yeah i think i'm gonna buy this facial moisturizing lotion because i'm all out of mine and i really did like it i know that this one is essentially like the same thing but the only difference is that it has spf in it so if y'all just want to like use the same lotion you guys literally can to just get a different SPF. If you know, you know. This was a product that I used growing up and I remember really liking it. I don't know if I would exfoliate every single day because I know now because of skincare by Hiram that it's not necessarily the most responsible thing to do when it comes to your skincare. But I do think it is a good product overall. The micellar water that I use, I really like it. Slay. Y'all, literally, there's so many, too many options. I don't like this. I'm gonna smell it. This is the Moroccan Rose one. It kind of smells chemical -y. and it smells the vitamin C one. Is that just me? Do they smell chemical -y? Mm, I kind of like this one. This is the strawberry one. For hydrated, youthful looking skin, that's exactly what I want. Oh, yeah, this is it. Yep, I think we're gonna get the strawberry one. <laughs> and this is why I don't like vlogging in public. <laughs> I have one of these and I really like using it. I highly recommend getting one of these exfoliating scrubs. They do wonders for your skin. They really help to take out all of the dead skin cells. So definitely recommend getting these. I would get them, but I don't really need it since I already have one. I also always wanted to try one of these brushes, but it's kind of scary looking. Like I feel like I'm gonna rip off all of my skin and like obviously that's kind of the point to exfoliate and stuff, but like it just looks kind of scary. So I don't think I'm gonna get this. These are really cute too, like very aesthetic, if you know what I mean. But do I really need it? Not really. Y'all, if I had a bathtub, you know for a fact that Adriana would get this crap. Like, literally. Epsom salt? Per? Like, what a vibe. Restore and replenish? That sounds amazing. Sleeping melatonin soak? Love to see it. But I don't have a bathtub, so I can't do that. These are so pretty. Oh my gosh, I think they're candles. That's so freaking cute. Love it. Or actually, this is a body cream. Never mind. Psych. That's very aesthetic. Very pretty. Very go-off, sis. <laughs> is this like a perfume? No, no. It is. It's a body mist. Slay. 
Y'all, this is the death of me, the mini beauty bar. I literally I have to get at least one thing here because I love mini stuff. Y'all been you. <gasps> Guys, the verse Obama was talking about, I low-key might consider getting it since it is. Actually, cap is $8. This is very tiny. Ah, shoot. I'm torn. I am torn. My wallet is going to be so mad at me if I get this. <laughs> if you know, you know. How is this product? $13. It's so tiny, bro. But, blah. Oh, this is my favorite bronzer. This is the Butter Bronzer by Fish 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 by Physicians for formula very nice very the vibe i have so many more candle options that's so cute ah, i kind of want one low-key but <laughs> oh it stays calling me i feel like i should get it to try it oh, it's just so expensive should i do it should i do it ah. guys these gummies slap they're so good i got one a couple months ago literally only has like 30 gummies in here which is why i haven't gotten any new ones because literally if you think about it you're talking about like 20 dollars every second month like that's a lot of money so i haven't gotten any more but i would recommend them if you have the money and you really care about your like health and stuff and want to make sure you're getting your greens definitely would recommend these they're really good okay i take back everything i said about the face mask stuff because i really kind of want to get these like under eye bag things and i know they don't do anything but they're kind of cute they're kind of a vibe kind of debating whether or not i should get them they are seven dollars once again so stinking expensive like why is everything cute expensive also can maybe get like these ones dollar cheaper don't know if that makes much of a difference they're both really cute and they're vegan isn't that fun isn't that nice that's, that's good. The animals are saying thank you. I don't know. I don't know. I also think I'm gonna get this face mask. It's by Burt's Bees. It's the Call Me the Sheep mask with Rose, which I know there was like a freaking whole controversy about like the Rose spray mist from, I forget the brand, but it was these ones. There was like a whole controversy about them and everyone was saying that it's really bad for your skin. And I don't know, it's literally only gonna be on your skin for like 10 minutes. So how much harm could they actually do? You know what I mean? So I think I'm gonna get this one. It's really cute and it's pink. It's my favorite color, so yeah. Y'all, this charcoal mask kind of sounds a little appetizing. I got this one for one of my videos, and they have like a mask version thing. I don't know if I'll get it, but kind of cool, kind of cool. Oh, look, these are cute. They're reusable. I like this one. Use with your favorite serum or cream. That's kind of cute. These are literally $15, but that's kind of cute. How much is in here? There's two masks, so it's essentially like two of those. Um, is it worth it? I don't know if they look like that. Bro, I'm never trusting packaging again, because last time I thought the freaking face mask look like that you know the hearts are there like you know it didn't look like that you know look how cute the freaking hello kitty stuff is that's so cute what a queen how does this look kind of curious Y'all, these are like so cute. I actually have one of these. I bought it from a small local shop filled with flowers. Do y'all remember when EOS was like freaking popping everywhere? I, they did no good for my lips. Like they did not moisturize them at all, but they were a fun time. I really like the color options that they have. Oh, these are iconic, dude. Oh my goodness. Ah, this is crazy, guys. I used to have, oh, bro, that's so cute. I low-key kind of want to get some nail press-ons, but I'm not sure if I will ever even even use them. I saw like, Sanrio ones from Glamnetic and I really want to get those ones but I don't know if I'll ever end up actually using them. This is the EOS body lotion. Aw, <laughs> the raw sugar kids ones. They're so funny looking. This is the body lotion that I used to use before I started using this one. This is the one that I currently use. I'm usually really scared to try products that have scent just because I do have sensitive skin and sometimes it causes me to get rashes so I don't know if it would be wise to like actually try a product with scent but this shea butter one from eos seemed really cute and nice and i kind of want to try it this one is pomegranate raspberry oh my god that smells so good I love the Aquaphor Advanced Therapy Healing Ointment. It's so good. I use it all the time for my lips, and then apparently you can use it for slugging, which I don't do, but I have heard about it on like TikTok, and it supposedly helps. Definitely recommend. Y'all, I'm tripping. They have them. I genuinely thought that they didn't carry method here, but they carry like all the scents, I think. This is so exciting. Let's smell them, bro. Mmm, they smell really freaking good the one that I used before. I got the small travel size version and I really like it. Daily Zen. What do I get? Y'all, I'm so happy. Look how freaking aesthetic that is. So they also have these ones as well. This is kind of cute. I'm gonna smell it. They're not a difference actually. It smells really good though. Want to 
and mom. Guys, they have the Dove exfoliating polish here and I kind of want to try that out, but I also have like the tree hut one. So I think we're just going to stick with one today, but yeah, I'm so happy guys. I know I'm literally getting excited about pink body soap, but you know, appreciate the small things. Get excited about the little things. I'm going to be vibing tonight. I'm probably going to mess up the possibility of getting like sponsored by Native by saying this, but I don't vibe with Native deodorant. I used to, I really did, but then I started to realize that I kind of smell literally a couple hours after being on. This is the one I used to use. It's the coconut and vanilla one and it just did not do favors for me. Like, I literally stank bad. My mom would be like, did you put Twitter on? And I'm like, I did. And she's like, well, it's a moron. Because it just didn't work for me. Obviously, it might work for you. Maybe you guys smell less than me. But during the summer, I sweat a lot though. It's just not a vibe. It just doesn't do me justice. I have, however, been using the Dove coconut and pink jasmine scent and I actually like it. It's helping me not smell. I have always wanted to do like the spray bottle ones but i'm not sure let me know if you guys like using the spray bottle deodorant and if you guys do which brand i don't really like having like the white stuff underneath my armpit if that makes sense i think i'm gonna get a new razor i have the flamingo razors and i do really like them but i accidentally left my razor at my sister's house so she lives in like the freaking opposite side of the world so i can't go over there and get it it's just no thank you so i'm just gonna have to find myself a new one which i think is fine because it was already getting a little bit crusty anyways this is the one that i got over a year ago and i really do like it so i'm gonna get a different color because you know switch the scenery i'm like debating between the purple one or the green one which one should i get the purple purple i'm gonna get the purple one <laughs> thank you yeah, I'm a vlogger. <laughs> okay, I need to find the toothbrush. Um, look at that, they're over here. So the other time that I came here, I was all talking about how like freaking bougie it is to get an electric toothbrush. And here I am debating getting an electric toothbrush because my sister, she is a dental hygienist and she really likes dental hygiene stuff. And she always tells me that I should invest in like, an electric toothbrush so that I don't get like, black all up in my teeth. So I'm low-key kind of debating getting one. They have some really cute options here. When I say cute options, I really just mean pink. It's just pink, that's the only Thing. it's not that cute but look at it i genuinely really want to get this this is the phillips brand i'm gonna buy the bullet bro i'm gonna get myself this toothbrush it's so cute five times better plaque from the hole my sister knows what she's talking about <laughs> Now I need to look for toothpaste. I don't really like need toothpaste, but the one that my parents use, I don't really vibe with. So I kind of want to get a new one. I just don't like exotic flavors. Can I even say that? I don't know. But I think I'm going to get a different toothpaste. I've used the Hello ones before. I think that's like a Kylie Jenner brand or something. I have no idea. Oh no, that's not. It's Moon. But I think I'm going to try something different. I have saw like TikTok that you're not supposed to use charcoal and that's the toothpaste that I used to have by Hello. So I don't think we're going to be doing charcoal anymore. I don't no, bro. I think I'm just gonna get like the basic crest one. Less is more essentially to dentist people. I think I'm gonna do the regular schmegler quest. I got no idea. Bro, do I really want to spend money on toothpaste right now? I Adulting things. Am I right, ladies? I don't know, bro. There's just so many stinking options. Like, why Target gotta do me like this, bro? Like, you can just give me two options. It'll be easy, bro. Like, I'm not good under pressure, bro. Oh, look. Buy three. Get a free $5 gift card. That sounds pretty tempting. Free pack for $3.99. That's pretty mm, freaking good. Um, that guy's cute. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Frick this. I'm just gonna get this 99 cent toothpaste because that's all I have energy for. Colgate cavity protection, baby. I'm gonna put you on. This is the way to go. Y'all wanna get floss stick thingies? Get these floss stick thingies because they're cute, they're sustainable, and they're good for your teeth health. All these other ones are good for your teeth health, but whatever. <laughs> Literally like a year ago, I went to the doctor people and they told me that I have tinnitus because of my jaw that's clenching all the time. They have dental guards here. Do I want to spend $30 on dental guards? No, I don't. But I don't want to freaking hear that mm, noise in my ear all the time. Don't they have like $10 ones or something? Like, they don't... You know what else is healthcare related? Improving your mind, you know, broadening your horizons mentally. So we're going to go look at the book section. I genuinely really love reading as of lately. Ooh, the person. <laughs> yeah, I can't get out. I can't get out, bro. I'm stuck. Bread. What the heck? There you go. 
<laughs> we don't need no man. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. <laughs> Y'all, the Tupperware is so cute. Look at the Tupperware. I can't wait till like I move out. I make like moving out vlogs. Literally every single person in my subscription box is moving out right now. And it makes me feel low-key kind of sad because I'm like, I want to get out of here. But I can't do that because I don't got the money, bro. I just want to get some snackies, but probably should eat healthy. But like, Oreos are calling my name. The back to school section is here, bro. Look at it. Look at it. It's former glory. We're going to go there another time because we're not trying to think about school right now. Okay. It's still summer, baby. It's still summer on my end. Um, except for the people on like the different hem hemorrhoid spiel or something. I have no idea. Science. No, I don't know. Happy winter, guys. Yo, look at that. That's so cute. I love kitty dogs. That's so cute. I want to get that to my doggy. You guys didn't know I have a dog. Okay. So cute. Anyways, it's kind of been obsessed with Sanrio stuff as of lately. They've been taking all my money. All right, guys. Time to go book shopping. <laughs> <laughs> have a good night look at the bookies let me put you on atomic habits by james clear changed my life love this book highly recommend it. please read it if you guys ever read this book because of me tag me on instagram or something because i want to see like someone the other day got the it ends with us by colin hooper book and they tagged me and it made my day so please tag me if you ever get the books that i'm recommending so all right, guys, we're looking for the Spanish, the Spanish love deception. That's the book that I think I want to get. Another person also recommended the love hypothesis. I don't know, bro. What a legend. What a freaking stinking legend. I came to Target the other day and I saw this book and I want it so badly, but it's not worth the time, bro. But it's so cute. Look at it. The many lives of Machine the cat. He has a lot of lives, guys. He has a lot of stinking lives. Look, I'm a literal child, but you guys love me for it, so. Battery's flashing, time to leave. That's the universe telling us to leave, so I'm gonna leave now. I always get asked about where I got my water bottle. I got it from Target. We are leaving now because I've been here for over an hour and a half and I think I, I'm i burnt out, bro. We're dipping. We're gonna spend more money if we stay. I'll do a haul when I get home. My wallet's gonna be super stick and angry with me, but doing it for the content, baby, and also for the self-care. <laughs> I am not well. Holy crap. That's on self love, baby. I miss the sunset. I was in there that long. My stepdad does not believe that I spent $200 basically at freaking Target for self care products. What do you have to say about that? That I did, in fact, spend $200 on skincare and self care products. Yeah, I know. Crazy. The donkers. Never doing it again. <laughs> Hope you guys like this video. Please watch the ads. Thank you very much. <laughs> I spent a lot of money. So I got the Method Beauty Body Wash. It's the Pure Peace scent. I wish you guys could smell it. Like, I really do like this brand. I think it's so worth the money. And I think the packaging is adorable. I'm going to be saying that a lot throughout this haul because everything I got was just adorable. The only reason I got this was because it's pink. Like, come on. got some heat protectant spray from Tresemme. It is anti-frizz, detangles, giants, softens, tames, flyaways, which I got a lot of, as you guys are able to tell from the intro. Like, I never use heat protectant. I've never used heat protectant before. So super excited to take care of my hair. I got the Maui. I do not know how to pronounce this, but I got the Shea Butter Shampoo and Conditioner. This is for dry, damaged hair, which sums up my hair perfectly. Supposed to heal and hydrate my hair with Shea Butter. So super freaking stinking excited for this. This. They also smell so delicious. Just the packaging tells me it's gonna be a freaking 10 out of 10 product. I got the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. It's super ultra weight. I've been using this for the past several months. I got it for Christmas and I finally ran out. So it's about like six months worth of product and I really do think it is very worth it. The EOS Shea Butter 24 Hour Moisture Body Lotion and this is in the pomegranate raspberry scent. It has seven nourishing oils and butters and it's supposed to help protect dry skin. I am a little bit worried that I do have sensitive skin so I'm a little bit scared hopefully my skin doesn't get irritated because it really does smell amazing and I am obsessed with it I also got my favorite sun bum sunscreen this is the face 50 water resistant lightweight and breakout free moisturizer I have been using this moisturizer religiously for the past year and it does not disappoint I love it to death and out of 10 product sun bum please sponsor me and then I also got the verse dew point moisturizing gel cream it has green tea extract and aloe leaf juice I 
usually use this around my sensitive areas because of the aloe vera and the green tea it helps to reduce redness so I really like it I also got 10% benazole peroxide gel cream this is an acne treatment so I'm hoping that I will be able to apply this and utilize it to help my skincare needs I also got Pacifica reusable mask under eye patches I honestly have no idea how these look or how they work but I'm really excited to use them they're reusable once again so they're a little bit more eco-friendly Really looking forward to trying it out. I'm excited. It's pink. What else can I ask for? I also got this Bird Thieves Calming Sheet Mask. It's supposed to help balance skin's pH for soft, hydrated skin. But it's really cute. It's pink. I also got the Flamingo Razor. This is a 360 comfort system that helps protect skin from irritation in the lilac color. I really like this razor. I've used it for the past year and I really think it does a wonderful job. Obviously, I know there are people that prefer men's razors as opposed to the women name razors. But literally, I'm only getting it once again because of the color it's adorable but the men's razors just can't compete bro like come on now moving on to like dental hygiene stuff the first thing i got was some colgate toothpaste i got toothpaste now that's a good thing i also got the grin lostic things they're made with recycled plastic which is good it's earth loving isn't that great be sure to floss kids it's good for your teeth and then i also got very expensive toothbrush would have never thought i would be doing this but doing it for 70 year old me that doesn't have dentures so but this is the phyllis sonic hair 4100 power toothbrush really excited to use this sister i hope this is good because it cost me a lot of money i got the spanish love deception i'm so excited to read this have never read anything from elena arm armas but i'm really looking forward to reading this i've got so many comments on me that i should read this book so i'm listening to you guys also got myself the salty immunity super shot i've had these before i really liked how i felt after doing the shot I'm gonna be drinking it first thing tomorrow morning. I also got myself a peach 5 Celsius because this wouldn't be a target haul of mine if it didn't have a peach 5 Celsius included. And to end this iconic shopping haul, I got some Brookside dark chocolate, acai, and blueberry chocolates. <laughs> These are my favorite, and I definitely think that candy, comfort food, or self care. Please let me know if you guys have any video requests. Also, while I was at Target, I did notice there is a back to school section now. So let me know if it's too soon to do back to school content. Content. If not, like I'm chilling with the summer content. So let me know when you guys would like to start doing back to school content or when you go back to school because I don't go back to school until like September. I love you guys so, so much. I hope to see you in the next one. God bless and goodbye.